I guess I'd like to hear what he has to say about how the Affordable Care Act and health care reform is going to affect uh, psychiatric patients, mental health, mental health reimbursement, um, what that's really going to look like, and when there will be actual guidelines for what that means so that we can, as clinicians, begin to work within some kind of new framework. Parity is a big issue. Um, the new plans that have come out, we've been hearing a lot of issues with the co-pays and the deductibles and you know, trying to understand where they're coming you know, from. Uh, the title they're given is very broad, so uh, I suppose uh, how the government is, sees the priorities in terms of mental health issues and uh, what they're going to do in terms of funding and uh, addressing the needs of the mentally ill. I'm actually planning on uh, working with veterans in, in Pittsburgh area, and uh, I would hope that he would just talk about how we're going to manage uh, the suicide rate. Um, it seems to be coming down in some respects, but I wonder if that's just because uh, people aren't reporting suicidal thoughts because of fear of how that might uh, cause some problems within their service. So I would hope he would address that issue. Um, I suspect he'll talk about iSafe and um required reporting for psychiatrists to report any patients that are violent, potentially violent, that we uh, are concerned about them having guns. And I think he might discuss that and all the implications for psychiatrists as far as being held responsible for people owning guns and possibly uh, another national tragedy like we've already had with Newtown. We're hoping to, that, the, that the vice president is interested in support and help for um, the mentally ill, and the services that are necessary, and let's get the, all the mentally ill out of prison and uh, get appropriate services for them.